You all know who I am. We meet once a year, every Christmas Eve. But did you know that I too was a child once? What? You don't believe me? Well, let me tell you a story. here and the little hand is there, we'll be back at the latest. And we'll take a shortcut through the ice and we'll save time. Nicholas, you could finish making your present for Otto while we're gone. Couldn't you? your parents' tracks on the ice. The footsteps, they led straight into open water. I'm sorry, Nicholas. I am so sorry. in the cold or starve to death. Of course not. But Thomas and I already have three children of our own to look after. Everybody's got children to look after. Yes, and every fisherman's wife knows how hard it is to make a living. 
and as for Nicholas. Throw the boy into the lake with his parents. That'll take care of him. <laughs> and I could do the throwing if nobody else around here is man enough. <laughs> He's got it off. The little runt got no sense of humor. I have an idea. Christina and I may be able to take the boy for a while. The fishing's been good this season, and we've been able to save. I think we can manage to feed one more mouth. At least through the winter. Don't you think? I think the whole village should take responsibility and raise the boy. Together. How many households are present here? One, two, three, four, five, six. How about if each household takes care of the boy for one year and then hands him over to the next family? I'm sure each family can manage one year. You won't get me involved in that sort of nonsense. But you don't even live in this village, Isaac. It's got nothing to do with you. Ah, be quiet. So together, we'll all take care of Nicholas. Yes. Thomas's family can start things off. The boy will move to a new home every Christmas day, just like today. We're all agreed then? Good. Merry Christmas, little Ida. Forget my mother and my father and my sister Ada. I knew they would not be coming back, but I miss them very much. sadness began to fade away. My boat is broken. Can you fix it? Ask your dad to fix it. My dad went fishing. Ask your mom then. Mom can't do it. Okay, give it here. I didn't know it back then, 
but Amy would become a good friend. My best friend. Then came the moment I had been dreading all along. I had to move to another family for the very first time. Are you sure you can make it to the house by yourself? Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Years, families, and Christmases came and went. Every Christmas I carved presents for the children of my former families. As the years passed, there were so many of them that I had to deliver the presents to their front doors at night. Well, that suited me fine because I really didn't want to make a great fuss about it or anything. Instead, I pretended not to know if someone came to thank me after Christmas. On my sixth year, Things didn't turn out exactly as they were supposed to. That was a hard year for the whole village. An early frost wiped out our entire harvest, and the lake seemed empty of fish. Unless things took a turn for the better, not one of the families would be able to give me a home for the coming winter. Everything made of wood for sale. And if it's not here on the load, I'll get it later.
You boy, come here! This wasn't much for me. Been dealing with my rivals, eh? Or the carpenters, and that's why they won't buy Isaac's goods now. It's been a bad year. We have no money. We can barely feed ourselves. Who did you buy this from? Out with it! From nobody. I made it myself. Ha! Don't no lie to me. Whose boy are you anyway? Nobody's. Oh, you're the poor devil who's going around from house to house. Huh? Where are the others? At the village meeting. <laughs> it was so important that they must have a meeting, huh? They're deciding what to do with me. Nobody can afford to keep me. No wonder you must be such a glutton that you ruin the village. No, I can't sell anything. You should be tossed into the lake. Good lord! <laughs> But why? You don't even like children. You can help me at work. We all know you, Isaac. I was planning to shape that brat into a man within a year. If my offer isn't good enough for you, there's nothing I can do. Wait, uh, hold on, Isaac. Uh, what if we'd still consider? Nothing to consider. He'll be better off with me than starving here in this poor village. Right? Six years since you were orphaned and came here to us. At first, back then, I was sorry that we could not find a permanent home, a permanent family to take care of you. We had to solve the matter in a different way. You had to go from home to home and stay with each family only for a year. Today, I believe that none of the families regret that solution. We have all gotten to know you. And so that's how you, that's how you have become our own child. And our own brother. <laughs> On behalf of us all, and especially the children, we wish to give you something to remember us by. Yes. Well, of course you could. The sled is yours. <laughs> Still loafing about. Get in the sleigh! Well, you can walk the whole way.
better than Nicholas. Take your bags in there. Move it. Uh, Get to the workshop, you go on ahead. But where's the workshop? You're standing on it. play compared to this. These will go to parsons, gentlemen, farmers, and other wealthy people. This will go to a judge. Is that chair going to the judge? It's made of pine. This is made of maple. Can't you tell one type of wood from another? Maybe I made a mistake. You're no good as a carpenter. Master, I'm a quick learner. A quick 
Clearly. Let's see how quickly you learn to tidy up then. Huh? Get on with it. Where are you going? Upstairs. You don't need to go upstairs to tidy up the workshop. There's no need to clean. <laughs> The workbench is covered with dust. If it gets mixed with varnish or stain, the whole work is ruined. Lesson number one. The workshop will be kept tidy at all times, no matter what. Lesson number two. Hand me your carving knife. You don't use this on my wood. No, don't! Huh? It was my father's. Get yourself a good knife from over there. Make sure you snuff out the candles.
Master. Huh? A year has passed, and I have to go soon. So I thought I would thank all the villagers. I thought that maybe I could have a day off? No! When time is pressing, you don't waste time, you work harder. Just a piece you threw away, Master. Well, this is what you do behind my back, huh? I'm sorry, Master. Smell. Oh, are you working in the dark? It only results in duds and rejects. There. No, you can't tell it's broken. You have more toys somewhere, right? really like those little brats. Did you plan to slip out to deliver presents because I didn't give you a day off? That's what I thought. Go on then. But remember to return before sunrise. We don't idle away even though it's Christmas. Not a word, I may change my mind. You can build your toys in the evenings, all right? I might even help you. Miss now I can get some sleep. <laughs> Building toys in the middle of the night. No. Oh. Finally, you showed up. I mean, I thought you had gone into hibernation or something. I already put your stuff into the sled. All right? What are you looking at, huh? You wouldn't have made it back before sunrise, and all the work you had done would have been wasted. Now hop in. Let's go. <laughs> understand why you do this but an old man like me. Let's go home. There's still one more place. Hold on. 
Let me take a look at that. Uh, I met a horse like this when the boys were young. Uh, just like this. What boys? My boys. I had two boys. Herman and Henrik. And a wife, Margaret. She died when the boys were about your age. Uh, and then they ran away to sea and left me all alone because I had become the way I am. And I see Henrik and Norman. When I see different children, that's why I'm mean towards them. Still miss my boys. What I mean to say is that uh, you could stay with me if you like. And Merry Christmas, Nicholas. Father's knife. Thank you, Master. And from now on, you can call me Isaac. Isaac. Merry Christmas, Otto. Merry Christmas, Otto. Merry Christmas, Isaac. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Nicholas. That Christmas changed everything. My vagabond life was finally over. Isaac provided me with a real home and I would never have to give up. had grown. It spread from the shore to the forests, 
and new generations of children were born so fast that Isaac and I could hardly keep count. But actually, we did have a secret helper. Nicholas. Emil. <laughs> A long time no see. <laughs> you should come over more often. I've been busy at the workshop. Isaac's not so young. Hmm. Do you have the list? children again. In fact, there's one name missing from that list. Elsa. Is it a... A girl. Three months old. I must have a name for the list. And what's the name of this little princess? Ada. sons. I sought them out, uh, found them and asked them to come here. Yes. We were wrong when we left. So we want to make it up to our father. We came to take him to live with us. Live with you? Where? Away from here. Father's just too old to be living in these out of conditions. What about me? You can have my house and the workshop. You earn them. Where Nicholas? Nicholas, try to understand. Even though I love you like my own son. This key opens the chest under my drawer. I've always been frugal. Maybe too much so. I think you can do better. Try to understand. Try to understand.
Nicholas? Amy. Nicholas. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where have you been? Here. Here. Here, here. here. <laughs> I haven't finished everything yet, though. There's enough present for ten years, at least. There's barely enough for next Christmas. What's that? A map. There. There. To that village. Those houses. And there, 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 there. Christmas presents! Christmas presents? Yes! That many villages and children, how can you tell what goes where and who it goes to? There's a simple solution. I'll wrap the presents in packages and write names on them. Packages? Yes. Ingenious, isn't it? How are you going to do all this? <laughs> Isaac saved everything he ever made. Now I can bring Christmas joy to children for the rest of my life. Nicholas. No one can live just for Christmas. I've been very selfish. I've only given presents to those who have helped me. You selfish? From now on, I'll only appear on Christmas Eve. Nicholas. Nicholas! I come to your shop once a year. Pick up my food and supplies. Pick up a list of the new children. There's more to life than just Christmas. Like what? It's an impossible task. You'll never get that many presents on board anything. And poor old Ginger won't be able to move such a load. Yes, it can. It can't be done. Oh, yes, it, it can. can't be done. Not enough time before Christmas. Animals are quick to learn, my dear. Reindeer on horses. Listen, Hilda, it's child play. I can handle reindeer, my dear. <laughs> reindeer, my dear. <laughs> you can try. The reindeer obey me better, by the way, when I've got this cap on my head. Sorry, Hilda. That color would scare even the squirrels away. Reindeer obey me, even with a bucket on my head. Here, ticket, ticket, ticket! Red caps. Won't be needing any. Red caps! Uh. All right, guys, here we go. Lesson's gonna start. Antlers down. Come on, chop chop, dash or dance or prance or blitzen. It's school time. Time for your first lesson. Ugh. It's lassoing. Dance or behave. Sit there. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Stay. Okay, right. Here comes Nicholas. Oh. Right. Look at Nicholas. I'm gonna get you.
some mysterious bringer of Christmas presents. Some swore that on Christmas Eve, they had seen bands of elves delivering presents. Others claimed it was the work of a child-loving gnome. Luckily, they didn't suspect me at all. Because it's coming! brings us presents at Christmas, and that you hate children. Is it true? Well, what Michael says is half true. I don't bring any presents, but I don't hate children. So who brings them? Who knows? Who knows? told me, you said you don't bring Christmas presents. Ada's right. Ada. Why did you say that? Now go tell her the truth. Definitely not. The children must never connect me with the presents. I would ruin everything. Why is that? You'll understand one day. Missing. When? Dear mom and dad, please do not worry. We're gonna find out. 
who really brings the Christmas presents. We have to wake everyone up and organize a search party. You have to let me some clothes. Otherwise, I'll be giving myself away. Okay, boys. Hurry on home. We'll look for Otter in pairs. Each pair take a torch and a lantern. Otter can't have gone far. Let's get moving. I know where she is. What did you say, Michael? I don't want to bring you a present. Me? What for? She doesn't believe you don't bring us presents. So why didn't you tell us that earlier? I promised not to tell. We ought to come back. to get this far. Twelve miles. Twelve miles in a blizzard. How is that possible? It was nothing on a reindeer sleigh. A reindeer sleigh? What reindeer sleigh? Suddenly, a sleigh appeared. I thought it was you, but the sleigh was empty. Well, not quite. I was cold, so I put on your clothes. Then the reindeer brought me here. So I told Ada everything. How I'd become who I was. And why I thought it was so important to deliver presents at Christmas. I even revealed my secret dream. That the tradition would carry on even after I was gone. I wonder how Ada would have turned out if she hadn't become the fairy of the lake. Hopefully, she'd be just like you. Merry Christmas, Ada. Merry Christmas, Ada. Merry Christmas, Ada. Merry Christmas, Nicholas.
Ada kept her promise. She didn't reveal my secret. In fact, quite the opposite. He didn't actually look like Nicholas at all. He was just some wrinkly old red-coated man who called himself Father Christmas. Years passed by, and before I even knew it, my friendship with Ada had lasted nearly 20 years. Christmas morning, won't you? So the fear of losing it. That's part of life. Your father. Emil taught me that. And you've taught me how wonderful it is to give to other people. yourself for a change, not everyone else. Nothing lasts forever.
to give in to my years. Next Christmas would be my last. My last Christmas. your Christmas. Merry Christmas to dear little Otta, your brother Nicholas. I don't know what this means. It means that we'll never see Nicholas ever again. What do you mean? I can't explain it. I just know. What are you 
you doing? Michael, why are you doing that? We agreed... It's what Nicholas wanted, the tradition to carry on. No. If you made a present for our Nicholas, other children will be disappointed. Not necessarily. What do you mean? Other fathers have done this, too. It's not it's at all the same thing. Michael, that's cheating. Merry Christmas, little Arthur. And Merry Christmas, Nicholas. <laughs>